How strong is 3D printed metal? To find out, I built a one ton test rig. And I ended up breaking more than I had planned. A little while back, I designed a snap close clip. Some of you wanted to see just how strong those clips were. So I did a dodgy test, posted it on social media and left it at that. But then PCBWay came along and offered to print me some parts in exotic metal materials. This would be perfect to create a genuinely strong snap close clip design. Selective laser melting, SLM, is used to fuse metal powder together one layer at a time to build the print. Thanks to PCBWay for providing these parts for no cost. And they really are beautiful to look at. The tolerances varied slightly between the different materials, but not to an extent that would cause any issues with assembly. This is aluminium. And it was easy to work with. This is stainless steel. And this stuff is hard. After drilling and tapping them, I assembled them using stainless hardware. Now we are ready for business. You have probably seen strength tests of 3D prints online and the different methods that are used to break parts, but I was going to need something big. So I designed a one ton test rig and got to work building it. Printbuster 3000 is constructed from steel and uses a barrel jack to provide the muscle. A one ton crane scale provides the measurement and it even has a remote. To test the whole setup, I started on some op shop finds. Now we're ready for the main event. Weighing in at 20 grams, please welcome PLA Plus! PLA let go about as expected with failure of both sides of the clip and stretching of the inner parts. And there was a lot of stretching. Weighing in at 50 grams, please welcome Aluminum!
It's at about this point that I should have realized that something is wrong. The weight increase on the scale has slowed down, which I thought was due to stretching. And I mean, technically it was, but just not the 3D printed part. Printbuster was busted. I salvaged some heavier walled steel and set about building a stronger pivot arm. And we were back in business. The aluminium clip didn't look to be damaged at all, so it was put back on the test rig. of the bottom of the clip failed on only one side. The hardware was very bent up too. There looks to be signs of stretching there. Weighing in at 128 grams, please welcome Stainless Steel. This one sheared on both of the inner parts of the clip, leaving the outside intact. I'm actually surprised that the hardware didn't completely let go here. As expected, the steel was the strongest and had the least amount of stretch. That's the last of the test subjects, so let's have a look at a comparison. If you want to check out the clip or test rig designs, I've added links in the description. Oh, and I did test the rig to one ton with the upgraded pivot arm fitted. Now I just need to work out what to do with this thing. The new Undisputed Champion!